That's the insult right there from the in Spanish for for the record. Son of a whore. Um, didn't sound as bad in a different language. I guess it didn't. It's like, <clears throat> I'm not sure what he said there. So, uh, Rachel online, uh, two. Rachel Sutherland from uh, Fox News Online 2. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So, here we go. We're in the home stretch. It's after Labor Day, and the general election is just around the corner. The race to the White House. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's finally here after more than a year of talking about all this. We're actually going to be going to the polls in a couple of months. And we see now that both uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are, uh, well, J- Donald's had his plane, but now Hillary's got hers, and they're allowing uh, press pools onto their planes, which is, uh, which is new. Certainly something new for Donald Trump yesterday, in which he, uh, he talked to reporters on his plane and said that uh, he was planning on doing all three presidential debates, and only an act of God could keep him away, as in a hurricane. So there have been some speculation he might try to not show up for a, for a debate, but no, he plans to be at all three. Hillary Clinton also uh, spoke to reporters on her plane yesterday, and in fact, uh, hers is brand new. It, uh, it she unveiled it. It has the Stronger Together uh, logo on it, and her H on the plane as well. So yeah, it's time. Yeah. It's game time. And uh, and and this by having the uh, the the press pool on the plane now for Hillary, this is new because she's going to really have to kind of speak to reporters. I right. Guess, right. I mean, there will be uh, access to these candidates, both of them, in a way that we haven't seen before. Yeah. It's been tough to get access, quite frankly, as a reporter to any of the candidates. I've been at uh, Bernie Sanders events, Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, Hillary Clinton, been at all of their campaign events, and not at one time did I have a one on one. Now, I wouldn't, I don't go in as a reporter and go demanding one on one. I mean, sure. you can ask. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't gotten one. Uh, well, that might uh, change here for you. It might, and that's it might. exciting. Yeah. All right, Rachel, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Have a great day. Uh, Rachel Sutherland, Fox News. Um, she's looking for her one-on-one. Hey, uh, listen, up to this point, Hillary's been kind of been able to fly away from the press. Now they're going to be flying with her. I'm not sure that's good. <laughs> uh, okay, Andrew, you had a guy earlier that was uh, questioning why we're not running high school football scores. Well, because the games were Friday and Saturday, probably. And yeah, he's, today, he's, by the way, is Tuesday. Uh, he's on the line now? He's on one. I'm updating Okay. Him, yeah. All right. Well, you can update him, but I have some additional information that I think is pretty cool, uh, and that is that the CNY high school football media poll is not out, Ron, or is out, and Ron Mosier is one of the reporters that, uh, that gives his input. He's one of the guys. And uh, Ron Mosier from the Observer Dispatch. And uh, here is where you're at here for large schools. Uh, CBA is ranked number one. Proctor is ranked number two, um, followed by Whitesboro at number five. And that's it, at least for our schools on the uh, on the larger schools. And then small schools, Casnovia ranked first. Notre Dame, which is 1-0, oh, um, they're ranked second, followed by General Brown, Homer, West Hill, Sandy Creek, West Canada ranked seventh. Eighth is Canastota, Chittenango ranked ninth, and Dowlesville. A uh, school in the small schools, which is always um, always part of the 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 top of the heat. Anyway, the heap uh, one and O oh, uh, Dowlesville is ranked uh, is ranked tenth. They uh, had uh, scored forty two points on Westmoreland over the weekend, and we- it was at West Canada that uh, that beat Herkimer uh, pretty soundly. Is that what happened? Uh, do you have the scars? Do you I don't. I, I okay. think you're anyway. correct. Yeah. I think you're correct. I'm just I just want to say, <clears throat> last Friday, it was like five days ago already, was at the Proctor RFA game. That game was 21 nothing Proctor in the first quarter. That was, uh, yeah. And it was 28-6 with about four minutes left in the first half. Um, RFA came down and got a touchdown right before the half. RFA actually went up 32-28 to in that game after trailing 28-6. to and then Proctor marched right back down the field, took the lead. RFA got the ball back and got inside the red zone with like a minute left and had four shots at the end zone and couldn't get a get a complete pass. It was a pass. close game. It was a great game. Yeah. It was really and a great game. And that's a big rivalry right there between it those is. two schools. So. Uh, it was, as a matter of fact, there's some national – I don't have the, the information in front of me. There's some national group. It's like rivalryfootball.com or something. But they travel all around the country – Featuring these high school games, high school rivalry games, and that was their featured game this week. Uh, last mm. week was Proctor RFA, and they had like a, a big inflatable football, letting wow, everybody know cool. that they were there, and they do yeah. a player of the game and stuff. All right, uh, well, Andrew. You know, even though it was last Friday, we're talking about it. So if you want, I've got some local scores uh, from over the weekend. If you'd like, 
Uh, Clinton got defeated by Pulaski or Pulaski. How are you pronouncing? Pulaski, yeah. Yeah, thanks. 48 to 16. (laughs) (laughs) Pulaski. It's Al Pulaski, though. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm thinking of. (laughs) Who used Uh, to run the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade and, of course, really uh, really big with a toy drive, Al Pulaski. And uh, Hannibal uh, beat Waterville 22-17. Dowdsville beat Westmoreland 42-21. West Canada 33-7 against Turkmer. Uh, Riskany beat Cooperstown 34-12. Utica Notre Dame beat VVS 46-13. And Canastota beat Holland Patton 36-0. And how about the, uh, the Syracuse game on Friday night? A lot of celebration going on, but they played Colgate. Right. I and think we have to. They're going in, I think, as a uh, two-touchdown underdog into Louisville this weekend. So I'm trying to pull up here uh, the Dino Babers comments after the game. Did you hear what he said? I, I did hear him that this is the slowest you're ever going to see this uh, this team. This yeah. Year. He's, he said after the game, like one of the first things he said was, uh, did you like watching the paint dry? Because that's what it felt like to me. Oh, paint was drying. Wow. And they, they blew. I mean, I know it's Colgate. Yeah. But they blew him out. They, I think yeah. they had a huge touchdown run on the first play of the game. Yeah. But, uh, boy, he's setting a completely different tone out there. Well, um, that's welcome, right? Absolutely. I mean, let's see what happens when they play uh, when they play Louisville. And then uh, over the weekend, the OD had a story that I thought was interesting I want to talk about coming up. And it is about the uh, the panhandlers that they're trying. Uh, and they're all over. I'm going to tell you. I, I know we brought this up before, and somebody called in and said, oh, this has been going on forever. It has not. This is new, and and maybe new in the last couple of years. A couple, couple months, I would say. But certainly in the last couple of months, they're at every corner, every busy corner. And uh, who are these people? And I know the OD was trying to dig in and interview some of them and find out. Um, uh, some say they're homeless. Others, I, I wonder if some of it is is a scam, to be honest with you. You can make a lot of money doing this. Mm-hmm. But this has been going on for Syracuse. If you ever go to, to Cross or to um, Carousel, um, which is Destiny now, right? Destiny USA. Uh, there's always been somebody there, and there was always, when you get on to 690, it's been kind of a thing in Syracuse for years, but we've never really seen it, to my knowledge, around here. But now it's all over, and I'll, I'll tell you what their story came up with. Um, and maybe we could even find somebody to be willing to come on the air and talk. They didn't want to talk to the OD, but, you know, maybe they'll talk to a telephone. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Manaski has news coming up full tight. It's a Tuesday morning. What, Andrew? Uh, uh, Wayne just wanted to get in before you All right, went I can to news. Try to... All right, Wayne, go ahead. I'll give it to you. Good morning, Wayne. Hi, it's me, Rainbow. <laughs> it's you said you want to talk to me? No, oh, no, 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 no. It's no, me. No. I sit in the corner over by Arby's on Tennessee okay. Street. Well, you're doing like a Puerto Rican uh, <laughs> thing, and I gotta <laughs> tell you, what he sounds like he sounds like he's talking. Whatever. Um, are you? I, mean, are you? Have you talked to one of them over there? What's that? You so, talked to one of them? Oh Rainbow. yeah, I mean, he's into me oh, for about Rainbow. Years. You're I've talking about. money forever. Uh, uh, okay, so Rainbow, I wouldn't think of as a no, panhandler. He's though. different. At least he plays for the Bucks. Yeah, that's a I mean, very he, good he puts point. on the show for the dollar, for those at least. That, for those that don't know, Rainbow plays a guitar. <clears throat> Sometimes he'll have whatever instrument somebody gives him. It might be a... A cookie uh, sheet, a, a python. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. You're right. He'll play whatever somebody a gives him. A broken guitar with one string. That's true. A cookie sheet. Hey, man. Anyway, Bill. So, yeah. I just wanted to say that these people. And I don't. I mean, by the I way, them, and, they're young. I know they are, and they're and and able. They're young and and might able. I say very white. This is not like <laughs> this is a. This is not like this is some ethnic thing or some minority thing. These are. They look like able 22, 23 year old guys. White that, guys. White guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's just call it what it is. Yeah. I don't yep. uh, understand. I mean, I, I, don't you feel a little scam going on when you see they don't I, look I, dirty? They don't look. Um, no, I feel and they got a bottle of water with them like they planned on being there for the day. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, the backpack. With, and they got this smug look on their face. But they, I'm telling you, they're they're able enough to go get a job somewhere because there ain't no way you can tell me they can't get a job somewhere. Well, listen, it could also be, um, I don't want to pin anything on these guys, but it could be a heroin addiction. It could be uh, prescription right, meds. Right, I don't know. Right. But at the same time, uh, it also could be like a social scientific uh, project that they're doing over from Hamilton College. These could be like Hamilton College students, and they're doing some study on uh, on socialism or something. Uh, 
the uh, well, not socialism, but you know what I'm saying—a social so study. It's paying, it's paying for the kegger. <laughs> it could be though. Well, that's also true, and you kind of wonder how much money do these guys make. We've heard about New York City where they'll do it. College students will do it. And they'll make a they'll make fifty thousand dollars a year panhandling in New York bill. City. Yeah. Uh, all right, Wayne. Thanks, man. Okay. I don't know the answer. Hold tight. Coming back. News in two minutes on WIBX.